in the spiritual. So the natural, the earthly, and the spiritual are interactive. They are intertwined. Now the question of Eric told us about money. Money is paper. It's 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 something. It's it's currency. Some dollar. Whatever. Do we still have some dollar? Okay, that's fine. I don't know in what mood I am today. Okay, that's fine. This is just something. It's paper. There is nothing. But you know, it can be you give. The Bible says it is blessed to give and to receive. Also, spiritual connotations or implications. The question of prayer. Right? That we need to emphasize as we are going through this this series, the question of prayer is very much important. Now, when we pray, when we pray, there is a mystical connection <clears throat> between prayer and the mediation of God's favor and intervention upon your life. Hello, Abiola. How are you? Stand up. Face the church. Abiola was at some stage in charge of the dawn prayers. And she shared a testimony one day. Every evening is okay. Every evening is fine. But what happened when you were in charge of the dawn prayers? On Mondays, tell us what was happening. Let the peace of God be upon 
says, let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for in our union with Christ, he has blessed us by giving us every spiritual blessing in the heavenly world. In the message Bible, it says, the Father of our Master Jesus Christ and takes us to the high places of blessings in him. One way that is guaranteed that we are fighting or contending against this spiritual forces is that as we operate in that reality or in that dimension, we are already blessed. And nobody and nothing can take away our status of being blessed. As you operate, as you walk in the supernatural, in the spiritual, you are already blessed. Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right side to accuse him. Now, what is happening, it's not something that is natural, it is something that is happening in the supernatural, in the spiritual. The book of Zechariah consists of different visions that God showed the prophet Zechariah. God opened his eyes and he sees Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing right side to accuse him. In the spiritual realm, the devil, Satan, Zachariah sees that he is standing beside Joshua, the high priest, to accuse him. The devil doesn't like you. The devil accuses you, both in the natural and in the supernatural. Verse 2, and the Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Somebody say hallelujah. No, 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 no. God had to open the eyes of Zechariah to see what is happening in the spiritual realm. It doesn't matter what the devil does. It doesn't matter the proximity. It doesn't matter what he says. He stands up. Yes, sir. 
nations, he was cursing people, and they were indeed cursed. But in this instance, in this case, he was trying to curse people who are already blessed. Now, you know what? You are. You have already blessed them in the spiritual realm. Doesn't matter what they do at your workplace, at the plot against you. You have already blessed them. They are too late. You are already blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Your family is already blessed in the spiritual realm. And it will translate to the natural world. Because in the spiritual, we are already blessed. Satan comes off. We are already blessed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, it's your choice. It's your choice. There are two paths in life. One is the path of obedience and blessing. The other is the path of disobedience. The path that we travel on is our choice. Where you are, the path that you are traveling, whether obedience or disobedience, it is your choice. If we are traveling, on the path of disobedience, we can't say, God's withholding his blessing from me. It is my choice. He doesn't need to withhold it. We are not on the path of obedience and blessing. If we want to choose the path of disobedience, where there's no blessing, then it's up to you, us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you. Brothers and sisters, it's up to you. I want to choose the path of obedience and blessing. Because when I do that, I am blessed. I have the covering of God upon my life. The first thing, you're blessed. By virtue of being blessed, you, you are, you are, oh, you're defeating. In the reality, all, the scope is, the, the scope is also outlined there. You are blessed, all spiritual blessings. In other words, you are already blessed. Now it's enough for you to overcome. Briefly, the second one is the question of praise and worship. Did you know that when we praise, something happens in the spiritual realm? Ladies and gentlemen, please count early to be part of the praise and the worship. Because when we praise and when we worship God, something happens in the spiritual realm. Tammy Peter says, all music has a message and a spirit behind it. If you are playing secular music, be careful. Because behind all music, there's a message, there is a spirit. Let me just uh, skip the other quotations. But you know what? In Acts 16, verse 25 to 26, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Maybe they were surprised. These guys are beaten, these guys are chained, these guys are bleeding. What is happening? Why are they crazy? Why are they singing hymns? Verse 26, suddenly, somebody says, suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Start with effective praise and 
Praise God. See, and the praise God, we can feel that something is happening in the spiritual realm. In conclusion, this is this is this is the thrust of the series. Paul is saying, for we struggle. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Today, before you go home, I want to pronounce something upon you. I want to pronounce a blessing upon you. The Bible says the tongue has the power of life and death. I don't know what you are going through, but there are people who are going through stuff they do not understand. Lamentations 5 uh, verse 7 says, Our ancestors sinned and they are no more, and we bear their punishment. This text is saying you might be going through some stuff which you do not understand. You don't know the covenants. You don't know the agreements which your fathers, which your great, great fathers have entered into with spiritual darkness. We are here today in the name of Jesus to break whatever agreement It's not 